Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this model. This model has been painted by hand. I have sped up the footage of this video so that it's not so boring, but I'll explain a lot of the processes with you as I go along. Um, this is the last you'll see of me live and I will now turn to the magical voice that you hear on the camera. Thank you for coming and please enjoy my video. Done. That's it. That's got to be it. Starting something like this, I will usually airbrush the base color that's going to be the biggest color or the color that I have the most of. Um, when I do the base coat, usually I will pay careful attention to things like where the light coming from. So you'll notice there's a very strong, bright, saturated color coming from one side and a darker, more desaturated color coming from the shadows or the back side of the model. Here you can see me putting in base colors for the straps. All the other dark areas, the boots getting their color. Um, you'll notice I'm not using a pitch black or a dark black for that. It's actually a like a really dark grey. That's because I'm going to put a black wash over the top. Um, because of all the textures that are on this model, it's really easy to just fill up with wash, give it a dry brush later. Gives a really good look. Super easy technique. So this is just really easy, just fill in the lines basically. Here you can see me setting up for the dry brushing, so that first color I'm using is like a yellow. The light that would be hitting him wouldn't be plain white, I would assume it's probably a street light or a street lamp. So the yellow and the black is going to give us the highlights from the light hitting the model and I'll concentrate that on the same side where the light's coming from. It's almost like a greenish kind of yellow. Here you can see we're using a very bright orange. Here I had a couple of pieces of black that had splattered when I was painting the base coats on the straps, so I was just picking that off. Between each coat I'll usually give it um, a matte varnish just to lock in all the color that's underneath, so it makes it easier for me to pick out something if I splash. You can see the effects of the dry brush working really well now, using quite bright oranges, um, almost emulating the sort of street light that's coming down from that left hand side of his face. 
And you can see it quite clearly how dark he is on the one side and how light he is on the other. It's very uh, striking. It makes the model look like you've paid more attention to it. It looks like there's more detail when in reality it's just an illusion of shadows and light that make that model stand out. A very easy technique to do this. It's not even a difficult thing to do really. Just stick to one side the lights coming from one side usually most people will think the light should come from the top which is still just as good but it's a little bit different more striking if you have the light coming from one side especially for such a dramatic type of piece like this here you can see me filling in the little grooves inside of his batons and slowly but surely going through and filling in a wash into whatever little crevice I can stick it in. Highlighting all the edges of the metallic pieces with the uh, uh, silver. Here I'm edging the leather around the side of his face, around the cowl, making sure the lines are straight. making absolutely sure that edge is super crisp around the face. The face is the most important part of the model. Here I'm working on the face. This is quite a difficult part for most people. Again, choosing a light source from one side makes it a lot easier to just build up to the brightness of the light on the one side and you'll see me doing this the whole way through. I'll use a fairly saturated color. It's quite a thin mix of paint but I'll make those highlights quite predominant and I'll come back again and I will blend them away with glazes. You'll see this happen as I do this. Slowly but surely I'll, it'll look like I'm wet in the whole surface. That's just a very very thin color. I like to think of a glaze as almost like a cheat. You can you can build up a really great depth by using a glaze because it will help soften all the mistakes that you might make. Thank you for watching my video and please click like and subscribe if you want to see more like this in the future and leave your comments on the bottom just so that I know if you want to see more of this. If you don't want to see more, just click dislike and fuck off. Thank you.